Hello guys, my name is Wraith Ares, at least according to the internet and Xbox Live. I am here today to show you how to make a small tabletop lathe. It's fairly simple to do. I haven't yet tested it, but it shouldn't be all that difficult to piece together. I haven't tested it because I currently don't have a working power supply other than the one in my computer. So let me just run that, run through everything I got here. I've got the case, the slider bar, the drill is mounted through the case to give it a, a little bit of stability and a, a little bit more room over here. If I, if I wouldn't have done that I would have had maybe six inches to, to work with there. So now I've got closer to a foot but you uh, mount a chisel right here, drill a couple holes, uh, your power supply, make sure the fan doesn't suck back up the chi wood chips and all that. But the uh, when, when you do get a power supply, if you want to go that route, you've got four cords you want to deal with. The yellow, this is the standard hard drive connector, the yellow is 12 volts, the red is 5 volts, and both black are ground or uh, negative. However that would work, I'm not quite sure. I just know hook it up to the other end of it. I know that the red is positive and whatnot, but I always get it to work. But, uh, this is a real simple design. I, I, I honestly, I, I can't put it any simpler than this. It's a, just literally, literally a few components, and it'll work just fine. I'm very confident in this design, even though I haven't tested it myself. And I'm actually pretty eager to see what you what you guys would come up with. I'm currently waiting on the funds to upgrade it. But I would really like to see what you guys can do. So uh, just keep me posted on what you guys think about this Instructable and get to work. Uh, there is one more thing. The uh, mounting of the piece of wood to the uh, drill. You're not limited by the diameter of the holder here. You can take a 3 inch wood screw screw it into the piece of wood you're wanting to uh, you're wanting to work with. I would put another screw on the other end just to keep it on this little edge here I lined it up with. Uh, but all you'd have to do from there is take and cut the head of the screw off, stick it in there, tighten it down, and get busy working. Like I said, you uh, mount the chisel here. It gives you free range of motion. You can do just about anything you'd like with a regular size lathe, except you're limited to this space, obviously. But like I said, I'd, I'd really like to see what you guys can come up with, so keep me posted.